Hi there, I'm Eric Hollenbeck, Director of Percussion Studies at Colorado State University. Today, I'm assisting in preparation for the Colorado State All-State Etude, in particular the snare drum one. And uh, this is the 32nd Etude uh, from Sarone's Portraits and Rhythm. Um, they ask uh, for Allstate that we just play the recapitulation, which is basically line 15 to the end. Um, so a couple things that came across um, in the actual copy that I got from Allstate. Um, that small snippet of this, which is kind of repositioned, doesn't have the tempo markings that are actually in the original book. So I'll give you those now. The presto vivo at line 15 is quarter note equals 144. And then the andante grazioso is quarter note equals 76, or eighth note equals 152. Um, and then we have an odd tempo on the second bar of uh, line 20, 21, and that to the end basically should be the same tempo as 76 to the end. So a couple things you want to understand is the presto vivo on line 15. You want to start with a little bit of accent to kind of kick this off is what the composer suggests. Also, you want to kind of group this so it feels in four. In other words, one and a two and a three and a four, you want to kind of emphasize each quarter note. And then the groupings in the second bar of line 15, one and a two and three and four and a one, you want to emphasize the larger group of 16th notes. So you can kind of inflect, instead of playing this like a computer or digitally, you want to kind of inflect a little more of the grouping that's there. Um, you want to make sure that the metric modulation that we have in line 18, uh, what I noticed is there's a couple of YouTube videos up. Uh, and they definitely um, interpret this differently. You want to make sure the 6-8, the dotted quarter, which is half of the 6-8, equals the whole 3-4 bar before it. So if you think 1 and 2 and 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that is actually taking that whole bar and equaling half of the bar of the 6-8. Um, so just be careful of that. And then there's a poco rallentando, in other words, a small or very small slowdown going into the andante razioso uh, in line 19. And you want to make sure that line 19, the 76, uh, is going to feel slightly faster than halftime. So in other words, we get eighth note equals 152 when we were quarter note equals 144. So it should feel just a little bit more as far as forward motion when you get to line 19. Um, there's a couple things. When we get to line uh, 20, I wanna make sure that the, the rolls that have slashes through the eighth notes with the two noodle markings above it, you're just gonna play those, at least how I play them anyways, is two um, independent buzz strokes with no release. So it's bzz, bzz, you can kind of see the, the performance video following this. Um, but um, that allows for a little bit of space since they're not tied and allows you to kind of keep those in time and add a little bit of emphasis to the beginning of that. Um, the slash through the 16th, I play as a five stroke buzz on that and all other rolls are basically buzz rolls or multiple bounce rolls. Um, at the end, uh, basically the last three bars, you have a pianissimo, which is the first time or softest time you have pianissimo. And then the rest of those, as they drop off fortissimo, are pianos. So you can be a little stronger after the fortissimos, but that pianissimo, you need to make sure it really comes in. Try and get all your accents on the last three bars to be exactly the same sound. So anyways, uh, feel free to email me at eric.hollenbeck at if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps. Thank you.